I'm a dumb teen boy. I like Legos, video games, and Cheez-Its. I once was a dumb teen boy. I still am now. I both like, I, f I feel the lyrics to this song deeply, and also I don't know what this song is about. Boys will be bugs by Cave Town. Standard tuning, but, oh shoot, I don't have my capo with me. We're not actually gonna, oh, it's right there. It's hiding in plain sight. Here's the deal, on the album version, he's got a capo on the first fret, but when they play it live, no capo. So we're gonna do it with no capo, and I usually, like guys, I usually go by the live versions of songs. I feel like the live version is usually how they, a lot of the time that's how they wrote the song, that's how they feel the song, that's how they, Peel the song. Here's the thing. I'm looking at this page of notes and I'm like, are you kidding me? We gotta play all that stuff? I don't wanna do that. I mean, it's gonna be fun, but it's also gonna be a nightmare. Let's learn the main riff. Put your pointer finger on the eighth fret of the top string. Put your ring finger on the tenth fret of the second string from the top. Put your pinky on the tenth fret of the third string from the top, right below your ring finger. You just tuck it in there. Your middle finger plays the ninth fret of the third string from the bottom. This is where a lot of you guys are going, uh-oh, I see where this is going. Then you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna mash it down onto all six strings. Yes, this is a bar chord. This is a C bar chord. I have two things to tell you. One, I will quickly show you a non-bar chord version of this song. It's not gonna be nearly as good though. It's not gonna sound quite like it. The other thing is that I do have a bar chord video course. It's free and it legitimately it's a good time and it is full of tips and tricks for bar chords. Just go to marinemusic.com, sign up for the course. You're gonna love it. We're gonna have a really good time. There's a community as like, with the, the platform that hosts the course, there's a community thing where we can all get together and chat, but I don't know how it works and I've been too busy to figure it out. So can anybody figure out how to use the community feature? What am I talking about? This is a C bar chord. With your thumb, we're not gonna use a pick for this song. With your thumb, play the top string. Then with your pointer finger, play the third string from the top. You just kind of grab the bottom of the string, give a little pluck. Then using the fingernail of your pointer finger, or you can use your middle finger, it doesn't matter to me. You're gonna just strum the string. So you go, bunk a Hey, one, two, here we go. Bunky pap, and a bunky pap, here we go. Bunky pap, oh. Guys, they, uh. and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna keep your hand in the same basic shape, but you're gonna slide it over one, two, three frets. So now your pointer finger's on five. Don't worry too much about these fingers right now. We really just wanna focus on pointer finger on the fifth fret of the top string. Play the top string with your thumb over here. Then you're gonna slide over to the th Third fret, yes, that is correct. Pointer finger's pushing on the third fret, and now we do need to get this whole chord going again. So we've got pointer finger on three of the top string, ring finger on five of the next one, pinky on five of the next one, middle finger on four of the third string from the bottom. Smash down on all six. This is a G bar chord. So we're going from a C bar chord, then you play the fifth fret, then a G bar chord. On this G bar chord, you're gonna do the bonky pap thing again. Bonky pap. Then just strum the open strings, just let the chord go and strum the open strings, but don't make a big deal of it. Just go like, just like that. See, so just make a tiny little deal of it on the down low. I'm not sure I know what on the down low means. Then we're going to an E chord, you guys. Now, a lot of you guys might play E like this, and that's like essentially how we're gonna do it, but we're not gonna use the pointer finger. We're gonna use these three fingers like this. So it's top strings open, ring fingers on two of the second string from the top, pinky is on two of the third string from the top, middle fingers on one of the third string from the bottom. The reason we're playing it this way is because we just came from this G bar chord, and look, you just get to get rid of your pointer finger and slide these fingers over, but keep the same basic shape. We're gonna go bonky pap. Then play the top string again. So it's bonky pap bonk. Then we go to an F bar chord. So that's where you just take these three fingers, slide them over one fret, and then pointer finger plays one on the top string. And we go bonky pap open strum. That is the main riff. Let's play it very, very, very slowly together. One, two, bonky pap, and 
bonky pap five bonky pap open bonky pap top f p pap ho start it over we have done it we've learned the main riff which happens so many times throughout this entire song the song known as boys will be bugs by cave town the other day i was thinking what is the least criticized thing in the world the thing that there's like no controversy it doesn't make anybody upset just everybody loves it and i think i think legos might be i know it's just lego you're not supposed to say legos they are lego blocks or lego bricks and if you say legos then you are a fool well i am that fool and i call them legos and nobody can stop me you can stop me just offer me money or threaten my life and i will stop immediately but the point being everybody loves legos right i'm a, an old man and i still ask for legos for my birthday not even kidding you want to see my most you want to see my most recent Lego thing? Fine. Okay, so this is my Hufflepuff Harry Potter book. You oh, it's a Lego book. Great, but that look, you open it up and it turns it's this whole oh shoot, I broke it. For a little bit of practice and to make sure we still know it, let's play the main riff dos times in a row. That's Spanish for two. Surprised you didn't know that. One, two, bonky pap and bonky pap and bonky Bonky pap and bonky pap on bonky. You did a really good job. Okay, now for this main riff, which happens during the intro, happens during the interlude, and happens during all the verses, I will show you. So when they do it live, they just play it like that, and it's great. On the recorded version, in addition to having the capo on the first fret, there's also this cool, like, bass line that the guitar plays let me just show it to you really quick it's really fun it goes like this you play eight five three three four four five one so that was all on the top string you can go ahead and pluck it with your thumb let me say that again it was eight five three three four four five one that's the first half the second half goes like this zero Five, three, three, four, four, five, one. No, shut up, idiot. Go die. At the very end, it goes four, five, ten. But there's a digit one in the number ten. So that's where my confusion came from. So check it out. The whole thing goes like this. Three, four, eight, five, three, three, four, four, five, one, zero, five, three, Three, four, four, five, ten. Oh, let's play. So here's what I like to do. That in the actual recording, that happens simultaneously to the main riff we learned. What? Here's what I like to do, guys. For the intro, I like to play that bass line to one uh, one time through. Then the verse starts with the singing, and I switch to the regular main riff with the chords. So let's practice that. We're gonna do the bass line one time then we're gonna switch to the chords and we're gonna play that two times it's gonna be a really good practice session and then we can just race through the rest of the song one two bonky pat and eight five three three four four five one zero five three three four four five ten bonky pat and bonk The intro, we do that bass line. Then we get to the verse, we do the main riff four times when he sings, I'm a dumb teen boy. I got all kinds of dumb teen boy problems. Tell me about it. Then we go to an interlude. The interlude is just the main riff another four times, but there's also a guitar melody going on at the same time. Let me quickly show you the guitar melody that is happening. It goes like this. Two, three, whoop.
It only uses five different notes. It's the C major pentatonic scale. Let me show you the scale first, then we'll go through the actual order and rhythm and stuff. So here's the scale, guys. On the second string from the bottom, play one, then three, then five. And then on the bottom string, play three and five. Now I'm going to strongly recommend you go pointer finger for the first fret right there on the second string from the bottom, pointer finger for the third fret up here, then ring finger, pointer finger, ring finger. If you, uh, hi, okay, shut up about the fingering. I'm in the middle of teaching a lesson. Don't start talking about fingers all of a sudden. Guys, would you please play five on the second string from the bottom, then play three on the bottom string twice, go back to that five on the second string from the bottom, then go back to three on the bottom twice. So it's boom, ka, ka, doom, pa, pa, fast, 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 slow, slow. Then you're gonna play five on the second string from the bottom again, then quickly go to three on the bottom again, but just one time, then go back to five, then go to three on the second string from the bottom, and then to one on the second string from the bottom. There's the first half, play it with me. Two, three, four. So I slid from five to three. That worked pretty well. It also screwed up our whole fingering thing we were talking about earlier. There's the first half of the melody. Now we're gonna get to the second half. It goes like this. You're gonna play on the bottom string. Play three with your pointer finger, then quickly hammer on to five or you just smash the fifth fret. Then go to three on the bottom string twice. Then play five on the second string from the bottom. Then go back to three on the bottom and do that hammer on again. Then immediately go to five on the second string from the bottom, back to three on the bottom, back to five on the second string from the bottom, slide down to three again, and then play one. Let's play that whole melody all the way through. One, two, here we go. And they do that whole thing twice. It's a little bit different the second time, but we're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna do the same the same thing two times in a row. So here's what we've got so far, guys. We're I know that we've like barely even gotten into the song, but honestly, there's not that much left. Left. What is left isn't even a word. Why are you being so dumb today? I'm so agitated. My schedule is different from normal today. It's actually better. I just don't work as much and I don't work as early and it's, it's actually a really good schedule. So just checked my watch. It doesn't make any difference to anything. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? You seemed a little down lately. You seem like, seems like you're horribly depressed. Is it true? I was talking to your mom. She said that you um, haven't left your room in like several weeks. Probably dead, probably a dead person. Quickly taking inventory of what we have so far. We have that top string bass line for the intro one time. Then we get to the verse, which is the bunky pow main riff four times in a row. Then we go to the melody two times in a row. And that's our little interlude. Then we get to verse two. For verse two, you just play the main riff another four times. I suppose this is a pretty good time to show you how to play the riff using normal chords and not bar chords, but I strongly recommend you try out the bar chords because it ends up being more fun and it does end up sounding a little bit better. But here are the normal chords. A C chord, ring finger, third fret, second string from the top, middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. We can't quite do what he's actually doing, but we can come close. You're gonna play the second string from the top with your thumb, then play the second string from the bottom with your pointer finger, and then strum. So it's bunky pow. Then play, I would just do the open A, the open second string from the top. Then we're gonna go to a G chord, middle finger, third fret on the top, pointer finger, second fret, second string from the top, and these two fingers are down on the third fret of the bottom two strings. Play top string, then third string from the bottom, and then strum, then strum the open strings. Then we do the regular E chord we did before. Just go top string, third string from the top, strum, 
And then we go to this stupid F chord. It's not stupid. I love it. It's actually a chord I love dearly. It's near and dear to my heart. But for this song, give me a break. Are you kidding me? You're going to put your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the bottom. Middle finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Ring finger, third fret, third string from the top. Go ahead and just play that third string from the top. And then, I don't know, just play like third string from the bottom and then strum but for this f chord you may not under any circumstances play the top string the top string must be muted by your thumb so the non bar chord version was like this see it's fine it's it works fine so for the second verse you go through the main riff four times. Then we get to the interjection of what I'm about to say, which is you play the pre-chorus. I almost said interlude, but it's not true. After the second verse, you play the pre-chorus, which goes like this. It goes I'm gonna be me. It's gonna be me. Guys, for the pre-chorus, you play a D7 chord. Ring finger, second fret, bottom string, pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom, middle finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Do me a solid favor. Take your thumb, bring it up over the top, and mute the top string. Just touch the top string. D7 chord. Give her a strum. Hold it out for four beats. I think this year... Wait, I forget that's what the vocals are here. But you play that for four beats. It goes one, two three, four, then we go to an F chord. This one, remember it from the verse? Or if you're doing the stupid no bar chord version, you do this one. I'm not making fun of you for not playing bar chords. I'm making fun of myself for, um, what am I making fun of myself for? I am making fun of myself for having a spray bottle. Watch this. This is going to be a, this is a terrible idea. Why am I doing this? That wasn't what I thought. I thought it was going to go, but instead it went, it was a good idea. It turned out to be a really good idea. I shouldn't make fun of myself for that. I should be proud of that. On the F chord, we're going to do four short strums. When I say short, I mean staccato, which means we're going to strum it, and then we want to cut it off, and then play it again. Cut it off, play it again. The best way to do that is with this hand. Right when you strum, you want to push on all the strings, but then right after you finish strumming, you just lift up a little bit. You don't take your fingers all the way off, you just relax your grip. So it goes like this. See that? So it goes one, two, three, four. I'm just going like, as I strum, I'm thinking squeeze, 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 squeeze. Play it with me four times. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So that's the pre-chorus. You go D7, two, three, four, and squeeze, 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 squeeze. Brings us to the chorus of the song, guys. For the chorus, we do the same chords as the verse, but it's in a different order and with a different strumming. So it starts with the C. You can do either C you want, this one or the one up here. Our strumming is gonna be down, 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 up. One, two, play with me. Down, 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 up. One more time, guys. Down, 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 up. We're doing the C. Then we're going straight to E, and then F, and then G. Going down, 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 up each time. Here we go. Down, 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 up. E, down, 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 up. F, two, three. And I do karate. I like to swim, but I don't know how to so swim. Quick little tip, you know how we're going down, 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 up on each chord? During that up is a really good time to start switching chords. So it's like down, 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 switch, down, 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 switch, down, down. So I'm not worried about the chord sounding clear when I'm strumming up. My fingers are already moving. I'm just kind of hitting the strings in whatever state they're in. For the chorus, you do that four times in a row, guys. Then we get to the post-chorus interlude, which is just the main riff two times. So after the chorus, you do the main riff two times. Then we get to verse three, which is the same as the other verses. You just do the main riff 
four times in a row, guys. Then we get to the interlude again. So last time we had that whole solo thing. This time we're just gonna play the riff one time for the interlude. Then we get to the fourth verse, which is just the riff four times. Then we get to the pre-chorus, which is exactly the same as it was the first time. We go one, two, three, four, and a thing. Gonna be me. Then we go to the chorus again. The chorus is exactly the same the second time. Then we get to the bridge of the song, guys. The bridge is just the pre-chorus five times in a row. I had a hard time getting the word five out of it. Five times in a Don't make fun of the way I talk. What? I might have a speech impediment. You don't know. So you play the pre-chorus five times. So you just go D. Seven, three, four, and F, 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 D, seven. You do that five times. Then we're gonna go to our G bar chord. That was the one on the third fret. Pointer finger on the third fret. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to a G seven bar chord. You get rid of your pinky, and then you have to push extra hard with your pointer finger. And we go one, two, three. Let's play the whole entire bridge all the way through. One, two, start with the seven. Two, three, four, and F. Two, three, four, and B7. It's the second time. Uh, 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 and the third time. And, about, uh, 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 and the fourth time. We're getting there. Uh, 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 uh. Here's the last time, guys. Uh, bow, 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 um, bow. G, two, three, four, then a G, seven. Oh, at this point, we go to the chorus. We play the regular chorus thing, which was just the C to E to F to G, like 2,700 million times. I don't know. I tried so hard to count how many times they do it, and I just couldn't figure it out. Now, on the actual album version there's a key change where they go up i think a full step oh, we're not gonna do that we're gonna do the way that they do it live which is where they just play the chorus a whole bunch of times they sing a bunch of words and at the very end they strum a c chord and that's how you end the song i don't want to review anything i don't want to play through any of it the main riff is the most fun part just practice that a bunch. You're gonna be great. Don't even worry about it. I'm not worried. This is after I say bonky pap, but before I say bonky pap, here we go. 